Hi everyone, welcome to the RSS. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Press the subscribe button, press on the notification to get the latest episodes and also comment when you're watching the channel. This is the RSS. Hey, welcome to the show. You're here with me, Rashid Saleh and Harish Diol, who's got a really nice shirt this time around, and I've got a better shirt. But anyway, moving along, um, we are going to be talking uh, about a subject that's very close to your heart, I hear. Yeah. And that's something that um, is actually a, a very pertinent subject that I don't think many people discuss. We, we always talk about a lot of things, but we never really talk about women in sports as much as we should be. And that's something that we will be discussing right here on the RSS. So, why is this so? This subject such a uh, it has so much importance to you, Harish? It's something that happened um, when I was covering actively covering school sports. Now there was this girl um, who um, cl clearly hit puberty um, way earlier than her, her classmates. And uh, I, I, I've seen her grown, you know, from, from um, during primary school and then secondary school. In the sense that during primary school, um, she was quite a good player. When she entered the secondary school, she started becoming very conscious of herself. And uh, what happened was that um, there was one particular time where I still remember it, where she was just using the hockey stick, just one hand with the hockey stick and the other, the other hand she was just covering herself. Clearly, she was um, uh, a bit embarrassed. Um, and, and it did not help that her school teacher, who was her coach at that time, laughed at her. Um, and the next year, the following year, I did not see her play hockey anymore. We we could have lost a really good talent. We we lost a good talent, and she could have played for the national team. Who knows? Yeah. Now, why the subject is pertinent and very close to my heart is simply because um, so many girls actually drop out from sports at such a young age, and will never know their true potential. And that's sad, and, and th that's a reflection of, of you know, if, if we know how good they are, uh, perhaps they can actually, you know, um, inspire other women, uh, represent the country. But we'll never know simply because they give up, they don't have a proper support system. Okay, let's go back yeah. to um, society in general, yeah. especially Asian society. Yeah. Uh, we've all known in the past, you know, women are supposed to be seen, not heard. Uh, this, this is just, you know, what has been yeah. um, discussed in the past, or, or, or the norms, yeah. and it shouldn't be anyway. Um, and and also women, you know, they, they always seem to be, you know, at the end of the day, they are there to produce a baby because men physically can't anyway. Mm -hmm. But uh, at the same time, they 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 have a role in in, in 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 society. Now, a lot of women nowadays are breaking that, that kind of barriers. We see women who don't want to get married, who are uh, doing uh, well in in mm -hmm. in in life. But and yet in sports, uh, probably the best example that I can I think think of is someone like Serena Williams, mm -hmm. who's had a baby mm -hmm. and and is still in the, in, in yeah. top, top top one, top two, top three, top five, just to be safe, mm -hmm. top five in the world. Yeah. But not many of them uh, in Malaysia. Who can who can you think of who have done that that and and uh, and is still uh, and still encouraged to do the sport that they they love doing or are good at. Actually, we, we do have one, uh, that particular, uh, her, her name, I, I, I can't remember her name, but she, she participated, she represented the country in uh, um, in one of the marathons, I think, for, for uh, at the SEA Games, in fact. You found, um, was it? Yeah, and there was also a shooter, no Suryani Taibi. Yes. Uh, you know, so yeah, no, no not you found, I mean, there, there was another, the husband and wife pair, they, oh, they okay. represented the country. Mm. And also, no Suryani Taibi, that's a classic example, yeah. whereby, you know, she's she still is, despite, you know, um, having, I think she's got three or four kids right now. But yeah, uh, the thing is that, uh, uh, it's not just an Asian problem. And yep. so but, but it's not an Asian problem. You see, um, it's a worldwide problem. Girls in sports uh, are two times more likely than boys to drop out by the age of 14, to mm. drop out from sports. And this is according to the Women's Sport Foundation Go Out and Play Youth Sports in America report. Um, so yeah, they and, and they are often subject to discrimination. You know, you often hear people say, uh, you punch like a girl. 
or you run like a girl. Yeah, but well, those are the kind of things that shouldn't be said anymore. I mean, yeah. even uh, myself with with my own children, mm-hmm. I actively try. Well, actually, I don't say that yeah. to uh, to to my kids. I mm-hmm. and I have a boy and a girl. Yeah. And it, we're not trying to say not, without being gender biased, but yeah. it, it's a, it's with, it's one of the things I try to say neutral as. A, yeah. Um, I will encourage both of them to play physical sports, Correct. in respect of whether they're boy or girl. Correct. Although in school, the school does tend mm-hmm. to do that because you know the clothing that you wear. Yeah. So do you've already you already segregated that at, at that point. Yeah. Does that make girls or uh, uh, girls feel that they 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 can't achieve as 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 much as boys in in sports because it does go down again to. To the grassroots. Okay, when we speak about clothes, what, what what exactly do you mean about clothes? Because the way I see it, um, the girls are not being told about what they should wear and what they should not wear. There's mm-hmm. no advice. Mm-hmm. No one tells them. You see, sports bra, for example, is such an important component. But no one actually, and it's taboo for a guy to say, you know, okay, fine. Uh, since we are not open-minded uh, in that level, then get a girl to do it. Get a uh, female school teacher to mm, do it. Mm. You know, just because you're talking about sports bra, it doesn't mean you're talking about anything else. I'm mm. talking about the mechanics of sports bra. And yeah, I'm talking it. Uh, and I'm, I'm saying it out loud since uh, no other women want well, to say it. It's safety. Because, yeah, you know, it's for safety. It's yeah. for so many reasons. Mm. And tights, for example. You know, and let's say, for example, for those who are wearing the head scarf. Yeah, uh, you want to wear a headscarf? Fine, it's a religious obligation. I get it, but don't wear a black headscarf when you're playing hockey at like what 12, 1, 2 in the afternoon. Because of hot the heat, sun, yep. of the heat. Mm. You see, so school teachers should remind their uh, their, their their children. In fact, the do, safety they, and the welfare of the kids come first. Yeah, well, well, yeah. in fact, there, there are a lot of companies that do have uh, headgear. I mean, even Amnik has has, has produced headgear. Correct. That, so uh, you know. I had to for, sports. For, for sports for, for sports for, la- so, for ladies for la- uh, triathl- yeah. tri- triathlon ladies correct um, it's the same with swimming as well mm. so yeah you do have options there are alternatives and, and you just can't say that just because a person is wearing uh, something different you call a poyo a hey, you know it's no it's not it, it's the same thing like motorcyclists uh, when you own a big bike you're required to wear like all jackets suit up and with proper gear but when and you have a have cup chai uh, uh, okay that's not <laughs> But anyway, when it comes to a cup chai, um, you like what? You're supposed to be in shorts and slippers? No, it's wrong. You know, it's it's safety. It's it's for the the benefit of the uh, rider in 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 the, in the case of motorcycles. But for for uh, sports, it's for the safety and for the benefit of the child. So mm. these type of things need to be children need to be educated. Okay, so um, and parents, wait. we are thankful that we have parents like you. Mm. But there are many parents out there who do not encourage their girls to play a sport. Oh, I think my my my. Yeah. I'm I'm not being biased, but my my daughter uh-huh. has exhibited a lot of uh, you know sporting, good. sporting, and I I will encourage. Her. I'll probably good. get her to play rugby anyway. Yeah, but the truth be told, there are many parents out there who do not share the same sentiments. They they, they would prefer their. In fact, I know this. Okay, this is a fact. Yeah, I've known some parents who said they would prefer their children to be at home playing video games or something of the sort because they know their children are at home and they're safe okay but in terms of <laughs> yeah. like women uh-huh. uh, in sports yeah. at, at what age do you, or rather what stage do, do they feel they they have to leave the ball what kind of pressures do they get as they get older though and, and it's why usually it's usually when they go to secondary school i think perhaps biologically um, there's also the fact that um, requirements change uh, perhaps uh, you know when when parents start uh, coming into the picture, families start coming into the picture and they go like, no, you're supposed to you know, do this, you're supposed to do that. So their lives are pretty much dictated. So you've got that issue as well. Mm-hmm. I mean, which parent, I mean, I, I would salute parents who actually go like, you know, girl, pick up a hockey stick or a football and go play. I mean, how many parents would actually say that? just imagine the girl, uh-huh. go and pick up the hockey stick. <laughs> I don't talk with that accent. That's racist, you know, Rajat. Anyway. <laughs> girl, go pick up the hockey stick. That's better. And go, go. Okay. But, but we, we've yeah. had cases though, for example, uh, uh-huh. the, the ladies, the women's uh, rugby team. Yeah. They, they've been bronze medalists, bronze medalists twice Correct. at the SEA Games. Uh-huh. It goes to show that we do have talent. We do. And, and, and that's, that's a minor sport, considered a minor sport. Correct, Rashid. And thanks for pointing that out because we do have a lot of that. And imagine, imagine if that pool is larger. Imagine if we have more girls, uh, you know, playing, not being judged. And and here, here here's the thing, judge the, this judgmental society we live in is not just restricted to little girls. It's also to elder women. Mm. Now, I, you know, whenever a, a mother leaves her child, 
at home and hits the gym, you get fellow women who go like, oh, why are you leaving your child at home? Why aren't you, you know, uh, you know, why aren't you taking care of your child? Why you've got time for the gym? So yes, we I've come across uh, certain individuals who have said that this is also a problem. So now you wonder why women speak about women empowerment. Where's the support system among women themselves? Mm, mm, mm. You see? So yeah, all, all, I, I'm not, I'm not going to be judged here to, 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 to say what, what's right or what's wrong. You, but you'll, you'll never be judged. You yeah. have long hair, which is fine. <laughs> hey, some judges have long hair. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, um, and, and speaking about yeah all, all this discrimination, um, there was supposed to be a harassment and abuse committee. Uh, it was made public by the then sports commissioner last year, and it was supposedly to be headed by Datuk Lau Peng Chu mm. um, to see about any any form of abuses or any form of you know um, uh, harassment that happens to especially women athletes, athletes, but women athletes. What what has happened to that committee? Mm. We've not heard of anything since. So yeah, the the ecosystem that girls and women must be told or must must they, they, they must feel comfortable that they have an ecosystem whereby you know people will not look at them people will not judge what they wear when they hit the gym okay so what if they are not of a certain size you know so what of, if, if they, are, they don't look like that Kevin Klein you know um, ad that you see on, on, on TV or something of the sort it's fine be yourself the more important thing is to be healthy okay on that note um, of course we do have um, exa- really good examples of women who've thrived in sports, yeah. and that's um, of course I'm, I'm going to mention her, Pandalea Renong, who of gave course. us the silver medal, mm-hmm. and great example of of, of, of being able to achieve, uh, irrespective of the man or woman, and you know one of the first to 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 give a, a, a medal at the Olympics yeah. for Malaysia, irrespective of whether she's. Uh, 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 male or female mm-hmm. um, we should obviously break down barriers those are the most important things of course and obviously you know there shouldn't be any more like we did in the, uh, in the very first episode mm-hmm. you know Malaysia Chinese Indian there shouldn't yeah. be just men and women although some sports are segregated in, in yeah. male and female but that shouldn't be the case providing safe spaces is one thing yeah but um, I, I think um, we need to have a safe environment um, mentally and physically for women yeah, and, and so that every girl or every woman will be allowed to jump as high as she wants to, to run as fast as she wants to, without anyone judging her. Oh, that's, that's awesome. very nice. Well, you know, I really do hope that you will try again and, and hopefully get a girl this time. So, <laughs> <clears throat> And on that final note, no, thank you very much to Amnik. <laughs> They have actually really good women's uh, yeah, athleisure yeah. clothes so as well. Sadly, we can't model yeah. for you because uh, Rashid well, is quite um, buff. <laughs> um, and thank you very much to MKCC for giving us this studio. Uh, also to Malik behind the camera. Yeah. Hi, I know you can't see us, but thank you very much for being our DOP Great. and uh, sometime director as well, yeah. telling him how to do his hair and his makeup. <laughs> and you have been watching the RSS. Don't forget to subscribe, press on that notification button and comment and tell us what you think.